I think it's important to talk about the chord progression of this song. So you've got G, two, three, four, and D, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, and C, two, three, four. So first things first, you really need to know those chords. If you don't know those chords yet, pause this video now and go over and over those chords so you're going to be able to get to them. Now, um, with G, there's an alternative fingering for this one. Normally, the G is like that, but you lift your um, the third finger in that the first string, lift it up to the second string, add your pinky on the first string in the third fret. And the other thing I should mention is we're on capo four, so that we can play along with um, Jason Mraz's original recording if you want, or it's in the original key. So um, that's first things first. So. G, D, E minor, and C. Now there is a variation in this song too. It goes to the A7 one at one time, at the end, right at the end, and it's our God intended right to be loved, 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 loved. It goes to the A7, and then there's a bridge part, but I'll teach you these parts separately. It's really so. an advanced class introduction. So taking, getting that G shape, just take, Take off um, the first and second fingers for the time being. All right, so you're picking um, with this with your right hand. Now you can do it two ways. You can pick it, which I think is my preferred preferred thing, or if you want to use your pick, you can um, you can pick it. We're on frets. Um, we've taken. We're on the G shape. We've taken those first two off. And we're, we're going to slide, we're going to pick it once and slide your fingers um, from fret 3 up to fret 5 in one action. So it's one pick and it's two sounds or two, two, two things here on, the, on, the left, um, on your left hand. Okay, so starting with that, that's the, what you want to achieve. So you've got to really press hard, you've got to make the sound in that third fret, make that note first. So it's, that's, that's what you're trying to achieve. So you need to do that. If you're an absolute beginner, you need to do that over and over and over again. So you can achieve that kind of sound. All right. So that's your first step. It goes, um, so frets three up to five sliding, and then you pick it again back at fret three. So that's your first action. And it's just picking strings one and two in your right hand okay so just practice that over and over again once you've mastered that the second time you form the D shape after you do the slide so you slide again and you're just picking the last two again so you've done that two three four two three for the next one after you've created the D shape, the next slide, take off this um, middle finger. And the reason why I do that, um, I'm not really, it doesn't matter because I'm only picking strings two and three, but it just gives you a bit more strength if that one's not there and you can put more strength in, in fingers one and two. So lift that off and do a slide from fret three up to fret five again. All right, so string, um, the D shape, take this off and pick in your right hand strings two and three and do the slide from fret three up to fret five like you did before with the G. Right? Practice that and then once you've done that you slide and then you form the E minor and even though you're not picking, technically you're not picking, you could probably leave it open. But I think in terms of um, learning the song, it stays with the same chord progression. I think that's easier doing it that way. Um, so I'll go from the D shape slide to the E minor. And you're picking the same, same strings, two and three, as you did on the D shape. Three, four, then 
you pick the C shape. Now this time you're including your thumb. It just sounds better. So include your thumb, pick the A string with your thumb or the fifth, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth string, and those same two that you did on the D shape. So you're picking with your thumb, string five, and with your first and second fingers, strings two and three. Okay, so from the from that D shape again, two, three, four, and and for a whole bar, it's just or a whole four counts, it's just the C shape with these. Okay, so that's a really simple way of doing it's obviously he does it a lot more complicated than that but we're going to do a very simple and it'll sound good all right so let's do that from the beginning I'll really slow it down so we're on the start at the G shape two three four D two lift up two three four go to the C two three four and then that's your intro practice and practice and practice that and then I'll come back with the the next part I'm going to do is teaching the strumming bit so with the strum pattern um, you've got your chord progression G D E minor and C now you've learnt those chords you know how to get to them quickly um, you've gone over and over the chords and now you're ready to add the strum normally it's like beats one and three or certainly beat one but this is on the off beat so it's one and two and three or one two three four one two one two three four one two and the tap in the bass will just help you to keep maintain the rhythm we're going to slow it right down one two three four one two three four one two three four one two So just give that a bit of a go over and over again. Now when you're tapping in the bass, just be careful where you're tapping. On the G, tap your, your top string. But make sure when you do the D, you're tapping the D string or around that. E minor, the bass, E. And C, the A string or the fifth. G, D, D string. E minor, E string, C, A string. The next part to learn in this song is the bridge, um, and it's very simple. G, now it's a different chord progression, um, and you lift off this second finger and lift up the, third, the first finger onto the sixth string in the second fret to play the G with an F sharp bass is what the G slash F sharp means. So you do G, lift up this one, lift it up into that. So it gives you a then E minor, then D, C, and you do an extra bar of C. So there's two C's and then A7, two three four so it will go if you're doing the strum the tap tap strum one two e minor d c two three four a seven two three four you can either wait the four beats or you can tap you can strum the four beats too i 
I'm checking my tongue in the mirror I'm bending over backwards just to try to see it clearer But my breath fuck up in the glass So I do it in the face and I laugh I guess what I'm saying is there ain't no better reason To rid yourself of vanities and just compare the seasons It's what we aim to do Our name is our virtue But I won't hesitate no more, no more, it cannot wait, I'm yours, I Do 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 do